What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to show you how to get data and MMS working on iOS 7 on the iPhone with MMS being able to send uh, to not only Android but Windows phones as well. Um, I know a lot of people that updated to iOS 7 uh, when they did through Straight Talk using the T-Mobile SIM swap method uh, they were only able to send picture messaging to people with uh, iMessage. Well today I'm going to show you a little trick that will enable you to send it uh, to Android and Windows as well. So what we're going to do is go ahead and do the SIM swap method right now. You're going to need a T-Mobile activated SIM card, which you can get at Target for ten bucks. Uh, comes in a little kit. Looks kind of like that, or exactly like that. So go ahead, and you're going to want to go into your menu settings. Um, you'll notice that in iOS 7, the cellular section is no longer uh, under general it's right on the front part there so go ahead and click on that you're gonna get to your cellular section what you're gonna want to appear here is a cellular data network tab which should appear right around the hotspot so what we'll do is go ahead and pop out your straight talk sim you'll remain on it'll bounce you back to the settings page you insert the T-Mobile activated sim chip wait for the voicemails and the cellular tab to open Okay. let's go ahead and open cellular you'll see data cellular network is now on there so go ahead and click it keep it open okay this is what you'll see and now we're gonna go ahead and pop the T-Mobile sim out go back into settings once the SIM is out, you'll still have uh, your cellular data network open, even though it's, it might say you have activation uh, required or something like that. Go ahead and just take out the SIM card, go back into settings, and you should still have this menu open. So go ahead and put your straight talk SIM back in, and then you're going to want to go ahead and start entering the information. Now I'm going to bring it up on the screen so you can actually see what I'm doing. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go back into cellular data. You'll see that it changes to phone in both the cellular data and MMS. And so what we're going to do is we're going to start at the bottom and enter the new proxy, which I will pull up. Okay, so the MMS proxy, you're going to want to enter 66.209.11.33 semicolon 80. As you can see here. All right, then we're going to go up to the MMSC and we're going to enter HTTP semicolon backslash backslash MMSC dot singular dot com. Okay. Then we're going to scroll up <clears throat> to where it says MMS. We're going to type in ATT dot MVNO. We're going to go up to the cellular data APN and type in ATT dot MVNO. Now this is a pretty important part. Um, you're going to want to hit enter after you enter the cellular data ATT MVNO. So go ahead and hit return and then we're going to scroll down and we're going to check and see that all the settings are the same still. The proxy and the MMSC are still the same but when you scroll back up you're going to see that the MMS was changed to phone on both of them. So what we're going to do is do um, Actually, we'll start with MMS first. We'll do att.mvno, and then we'll scroll to the top, att.mvno, and we'll scroll down, check the settings, back up. We'll notice the cursor left on cellular data is still there, so att.mvno is there. MMS is on phone, 
Now, we want to make sure that leaving the cursor at top at the top with cellular data, when we scroll down to check and then go back up, it stays. So that's good. Um, and what we want to do next is actually keep both of them on the screen. This is what I figured out. You have to keep the APN where you can see it on the screen with the cursor up at the top after scrolling up and down to check. So do it one more time. Check. Still there. Okay. So keep both on the screen. Type, uh, go down to your, a uh, your MMS APN. Type att.mvno and hit return. And then you want to scroll back up to the top. Make sure they're both the same. And then click cellular to back out all the way to the beginning. And then that should unlock it. And I think there's some glitch in iOS 7 where it changes it back to phone or something like that. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but I know that it does it. Not sure why, but this should fix it. And I'll show you here. Um, as you can see, somebody with iMessage uh, with the blue text, I'll go ahead and send them a picture to show you that it works. Okay, and I'll send it. You'll see a blue bar at the top, and it'll go through. Now I am still on Wi-Fi, and I will show you this not on Wi-Fi as well. So the blue bar iMessage works, and then we're going to go down here to my sister. We're going to click on a picture to send her. Now these were the ones I sent her earlier in a previous version of the video, which I screwed up on. And then these were the ones where it was originally just the straight talk sim, not allowed to uh, uh, send to Android or Windows phones. So I'm going to click on her, go to pictures, choose existing. I'm going to send her this picture. And you're going to see a green bar at the top because it's sending it to a non-iMessage phone. And it should hopefully go through. I had to mess around with this a lot. It's kind of confusing. It took me a while. And I'm, it took me a couple of videos even to be able to explain it to everybody. And I'm probably not even doing that good of a job. But um, it did work for me eventually. And if you just tinker with it, uh, you should be able to get it. I'll just wait a little bit here at the end. And there it goes. So then I'll also show you that we have data working. Uh, search poop in Google. And there we go. Everything's working perfectly fine. Now I'm going to go ahead and take it off the screen here. Turn off mirroring. And I'm going to go ahead and turn off my Wi-Fi as well. So you can see that I'm on 4G. Okay. I'm going to go ahead back to my sister. Send her another picture on her Windows phone. Okay. Still on 4G. And I'm going to go ahead and hit send. And you'll see the green bar on 4G. And there it goes. So you should have your MMS and data fully functional um, by doing that method and just kind of making sure that you keep the, uh, the cellular data APN and the MMS APN on the screen at the same time. Again, with the cursor on the top one, scroll to the bottom and then back to the top. The MMS will change back to phone. Uh, leaving them both on the screen, you change to att.mvno for your MMS, hit enter, scroll back to the top, make sure they're still the same, uh, hit back, 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 and you should be good to go. So I hope this helps uh, everybody get uh, Straight Talk working on iOS 7. It took me a little bit again, so if you've got any questions or any concerns, uh, leave them down in the comments, and I will try and uh, answer them as best I can. So thanks for watching. I hope this helps.